Good afternoon, Buenos tardes everybody from beautiful Costa Rica. Hope you are all having a beautiful day. So this is just a quick little video. It's a little insert that I'm going to put be um, before this video that I'm putting together of the border run that we just did on Tuesday. So in case you didn't know and you're new to the channel, we are a couple in our late 50s and we moved to Costa Rica um, in March of 2021. So we're pushing three years here now and we just had to do another border run and I'm not sure if you are aware. If you aren't aware, now you can get 180 days on your visa. So we were curious, hmm, border runs for the last over two and a half years. Do we get 180 days or aren't we going to get 180 days? So I thought as well, because people, I see people posting about doing the border runs, I've never done them before and they're a little bit nervous and they're not sure what to do. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put a video together um, of the process that we went through. Now, bear in mind, I can't actually film inside the immigration bu um, buildings. They don't, they don't allow it, right? So obviously, but I've tried to go through step by step on the video so that it's um, hopefully it's um, better, um, a little more explanatory for those of you that haven't done it before. Because I know some of, I remember when we first did our border run. Actually, it was Panama. And we were doing, um, we, first time we, we, went, we flew over, second time we went to David, so we went through the land border and it was so daunting because everybody online was on about how bad it was and the immigration people were terrible and blah, blah, blah. And we never had an issue, personally ourselves. I know some people did, but we never did. So I, from that point on then, I thought I'm not listening to what I, what I read on Facebook, you know what I mean? So it can be different for everybody. but. We've never had a problem with immigration, so they've always been really good with us. So anyway, I thought I would just do this video, put it together, and like I said, hopefully it helps those of you that have never done a video, uh, sorry, a border run before, okay? So if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. We'd really, really appreciate it. It helps our videos. We're trying to get to 1,000 subs. Um, we are at 690, so we're hoping to get to 1,000 soon. It just amazes me how many people watch our videos, but people don't subscribe. I just, I, I, I don't know. And that happens with a lot of people, I, I guess. So, but anyway, I'm not gonna blabber on. So anyway, I just wanted to put this video together for those of you that are going to be doing a border run by land for the first time, because I know it can be pretty daunting. So hopefully this makes it easier for you. And like I said, if this video does help you and it does help you feel a little bit, bit more, um, less anxious, should I say, leave a comment let us know okay guys so anyway we appreciate you thanks for following us along we will be back soon with another video i hope you have a fantastic weekend take care till next time pura vida okay so there's the bcr building there that's where immigration is now we have to go down here and we're going to get our um, exit tickets so we'll come down here this is the one that we always go to there's your departure taxes here and departure taxes so there's one here and there's one here and like I said when you're driving up you see all the truck trucks all lined up so we're gonna go down here and get our exit ticket so this is the building and then immigration is across here so we'll take you over there after so this is what we're doing first the other thing you'll do too is when you come here you'll find they'll come and they'll, put, they'll want you to pay them to look after your car you don't have to do that so, like I said, but they'll come and they'll want money from you. But you don't need to do that. I mean, if you want to give them 100 clonies, by all means, go ahead. But you're not obligated to, just to let you know. Okay? So, so as you can see here, um, so it is 6,000 clonies or 10 American dollars. That's the exit. So that's what you're paying. Okay? So it says right there. That's your exit ticket, okay? And then you're gonna have to take that to immigration. Okay, so that was nice and quick. So now, we're leaving the tax building and we're going up here. And then we're just gonna zip across to immigration. We got our exit ticket here in our passport. So now, I'm gonna pop over here and we're gonna get stamped out of Costa Rica. And my lace is undone. Can you just do my lace up quickly for me? 
All right. So here we come to the immigration. Like I said, you get these people. We had, <laughs> we came here one time and we literally only been in the immigration two minutes and they came out and they wanted like 10,000 colonies. Trying to get 10,000 colonies from us to look after the car. And we're only in immigration like two seconds, well, what, two minutes? So, like I said, they'll come up to you and they'll say how much they want, but you're not obligated. Just to let you know that, okay? So this is the immigration. We're gonna walk around to the doors. And I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, buenas, buenos dias, woo, bienvenido. <laughs> no. We're gonna go to, so here's immigration. Salidas. So we'll be back after we get stamped out, okay? And then we'll show you next way and eat where you're gonna need to go. So, ciao for now. Hello. So we've just gone through immigration. You're gonna have to go over there. Sure. You're gonna have to go over there. Show those guys, those your, guys your passport. Now we're going into Nicaragua. Uh, you don't have to pay any fee there. You don't have to pay any fee for the immigration to get your passport stamped out. You only pay a fee at the tax building, which is $10 each, which I said previously. So now we're going over to the immigration building. I can't film in there, so when you get there, at the door, there'll be a lady, she wants a dollar US per person when you enter. And then last time we came, it was $13 each, 26 US dollars. And then the same will happen when we get to the other side. You go to the other side, there's going to be a girl. Again, another two US dollars, one dollar each. You give that to her at the door or him. Then you walk up to the counter when it's free. And again, you're gonna pay another um, stamp exit fee um, out of Nicaragua, which I believe is the same as Costa Rica, another $13. But I'll confirm that once we've gone through because they won't let me film inside. Okay, so I'm trying to show everybody and explain what you have to do when you come and do your border run, because it's easy. Okay, and then this will also be our first time. We're gonna see if we get 180 days, aren't we? Yeah. Let's see if they give us 180. Yeah, this is the first time for So us. this'll be interesting to see if they actually give it us, because we've been in Costa Rica oh, over two and a half years now, so. Okay, so I'll be back once we've been through and back the other side, okay? Ciao for now. Quickly add, this is where you used to have to go first in this building with your vaccination papers, but the vaccination papers aren't required anymore. I've seen a few people ask that, but no, you don't require your vaccination papers anymore, okay? Okay, so now we've just come through that. We've just got stamped out of uh, Costa Rica and we've now got stamped into Nicaragua. So now, now we're, we're in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. So here's the doors, Here. right. and that was $26 for both of us. You're gonna go over this side, you're gonna go to these doors, and now you're gonna get stamped out of Nicaragua. So we're in the immigration Bible thing now, so this is the queue, the part of queue, so we're just waiting to get stamped out now. Okay, so now we're leaving Nicaragua. So this is the building, we just signed out. And now we've, let, we've signed out, no problem. So the exit fee to stamp back out of Nicaragua was $3 US each so it was it was thirteen dollars to stamp in each and three dollars to get stamped out okay so now we're heading back to the car and there's the building we came out this side now we're heading back to the car we'll drive over to immigration get ourselves stamped back into costa rica and we'll let you know how that goes so we'll be back once we get stamped back in be curious to see how many days we get too we'll be back i should add too the trucks we were later today we didn't leave the house till like 6 30 this morning normally we leave around 5 4 5 a.m but we found coming earlier doesn't really make a difference so you can still call it get caught up in big lineups so we thought all right we'll go a little bit later but uh the trucks like there's only 
this small exit coming in between the two countries and uh, I tell you there's miles of trucks lined up heading this way to Nicaragua from Costa Rica and I'm guessing it's probably the same from Nicaragua heading into Costa Rica like it's crazy so you gotta be careful because when you're approaching um, Peter's Blancas you'll see, tr you'll see trucks lined up just go past them don't stop behind them but just make sure you, t you take it easy because you're actually driving on the other side of the road because on parts of the road the trucks take up one half of the road because there's nowhere for them to pull over just in certain sections so you got to be careful okay so we will be back hopefully this makes it easy for everybody that's not done a border run before um, in Nicaragua and, and Penis Blancas okay so we'll be back once we get stamped back into Costa Rica Ciao for now. Okay, so we just came out of immigration. The immigration officer was really nice. They usually are. They always she have always been, have really. been with us. She was absolutely awesome. She was really, really nice. And we got, how many days we get, honey? 180. We got 180 days. So that's cool. Oh, here comes the cops. So there you um, go. That's how you do your border run, guys. Here you go, baby. It's pretty simple. And it doesn't cost anything when you go in that building to exit get to Costa Rica. I didn't mention that. Okay. So yeah, how cool is that? We just got stand back in, no problem. For 180 days. We got six months. Woohoo! Pura vida, guys. Say pura vida, Steve. Pura vida, Steve. <laughs> okay, so these are the trucks you're gonna see when you're coming up to uh, Penis Blancas. Well, it's kind of smoke on a penis. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to see these trucks. And trust me, they are lined up for miles. So you're just basically going to go past them like you just saw this dude here. And just come up this road until you get to the border. So like I said, when you see the trucks lined up, don't pull up behind the truck. Just go past, okay? <coughs> because uh, when the first time you do it, you're thinking, oh my God, you're going to be, be stuck behind the trucks. But no, you're not. So you can see them are coming over a bridge. So they've stopped up here, but then there's a load more trucks. Like it's crazy how many trucks are lined up on this road, isn't it, babe? Yeah, there's even more going out. There yep. usually isn't one when you're going out. But yep. there's even one. Today they're lined up on side. But it's pretty crazy. So like I said, just be careful when you're coming up this road, because like I said, you'll have oncoming traffic because as you can see, these trucks take up most of the other side of the roadway on the other side of the road here, okay? So, and as you can see here, there's an oncoming car. So like I said, you've got to be careful 